I started reporting the story behind spare parts a little over 10 years ago, so it's been a decades-long project for me. And initially it started out as a magazine article, uh, and at the end of the article, um, the kids, uh, spoiler alert, <laughs> uh, encountered some uh, extraordinary success. And I was very interested in what happened after that success. And so the book uh, picks up in many ways from where the article leaves off and follows these guys over a 10-year period. So you really get to understand what happens after they've proven that they're among the best underwater engineers in the country. I, th I think it's important to tell the story because it speaks to a lot of things about what it means to be an American right now. It's a story about immigration. Uh, it's a story about trying to build an American dream, uh, overcome hurdles, and I think it also gives people a perspective of what it's like to uh, come to this country as a, as a child, being brought over by your parents and making a home in America and yet not entirely being able to call it your home. I think that has important repercussions for the future of this country. I think that there's a lot of things that are remarkable about the experiences of these four guys and the experiences of the teachers. Um, you know, first of all, the fact that they would decide to enter an underwater robotics contest when they come from a high school that's in the middle of the desert. They didn't even have a swimming pool. Uh, so it was a, a really crazy challenge. And most people would think that you, you wouldn't even consider such a thing. They had no background in robotics, very little background. Uh, they had almost no funding uh, and basically no idea what they were doing, and yet they did it anyway. Uh, and so that, f that fundamental decision to do something that sounds crazy to other people is something that I think we could all learn a lot from. Spare Parts talks a lot about immigration. Um, we're a country of immigrants. We all came from somewhere else, and I think that there is a tendency in the political discourse to rely on assumptions uh, and stereotypes about what an immigrant is. And anytime you rely on a stereotype, uh, I think you are missing the truth of what the, the, the true experience looks like. Uh, and so part of my challenge in writing the book and telling the story of, of these four students was to give people an opportunity to experience life through their perspective. I think Spare Parts is a, a, an opportunity to get people talking about what it means to, to be an American. How do you define American? How do you define uh, what it means to be an American? Is it enough to have grown up here? Is it enough to want to enter the military and fight for this country? Uh, the, all of these issues are touched on in spare parts and pose challenging questions. And, uh, and I think as a teaching tool, that's always a good thing when you get the opportunity to grapple with uh, questions that are at the forefront of the national conversation. I hope that when people read spare parts, they will come away understanding the experience of these four guys. Uh, and that may or may not change their perspective on immigration policy or what it means to be an American, but I want them at least to uh, have had the opportunity to understand somebody else's experience. Uh, and I, I hope that in so doing that they'll be able to make better decisions about the direction this country should go in. My family on my father's side came from Russia uh, a number of generations ago uh, and you know we still have that sense in the family of being an immigrant family like we've never forgotten where we came from and I th that's obviously true of families that are more recent immigrants um, but it was fascinating to me to learn how the process of becoming a naturalized citizen has changed or evolved over the years it used to be when my family came they went through Ellis Island, uh, and you know it, it wasn't total. It wasn't super complex. 
Whereas now there's so many hoops and so many um, different challenges to becoming a citizen uh, that even when you think you have a very good case, you may still not be able to make it. Uh, and I think it's true that for a lot of us, we take our citizenship for granted. You know, how many people um, can recite the Constitution? How many people know all the amendments? Uh, new immigrants uh, and people who want to become American citizens uh, live and breathe that stuff in a way that those of us who take our citizenship for granted don't.